fun. Yes, and uh, here we have another guest. Uh, thank you so much, Kanika, for being here. And for everyone who's been watching this show for a while, they know that this is the time for formal introductions. Uh, we are thrilled to welcome Advocate Kanika uh, to our discussion with over five years of extensive experience. Kanika, uh, you have a lot of expertise in intellectual property rights, uh, corporate law, business law, due diligence and advisory. For people, uh, uh, you know, who want to sort of check out her profile on LinkedIn, please do it. She says a lot of good insights. Uh, in fact, we were just discussing how, you know, just before the show itself, uh, one hour ago, she had, uh, you know, sort of a document uh, made and she shared it and uh, we talked about the experience. So that is something that is very uh, unique uh, to Kanika in that sense. A lot of free advice that you wouldn't get anywhere you get it from Kanika so that for the one of the reasons why Kanika is here on the show today as a licensed lawyer from India she's uh, honed a diverse skill set she's excelled in con contract drafting agreement drafting legal content writing very clearly uh, if you check out her LinkedIn comprehensive legal research obviously uh, I think uh, her tenure as an associate also has seen her deeply involved in matters pertaining to trademark trademarks and corporate laws and that is something we'll delve into the uh, when we delve into the discussion, we'll deal with that as well. Uh, and also, I think Kanika's passion for legal content writing is led to the publication of multiple insightful articles, which I was talking about. But even, let's say, not apart from LinkedIn, there are multiple reputed platforms where she's been published. Her multifaceted ex expertise, I think, demonstrates her proficiency in the legal domain. And also, I think those commitment, the hard work, uh, you can clearly see it when you talk about Advocate Kanika. So thank you so much uh, for joining us here, Kanika. I'm really excited about how this session will go around. Thank you so much, Nishang, for having me here. Uh, that was a very elaborate introduction indeed. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. No, no, the research team really works hard. So <laughs> no kudos to uh, kudos to them. But okay, so you would normally now, Kanika, I'll, uh, I, and we'll we'll keep it as simple, sweet, and but as straightforward as we can. Okay, normally I would uh, come in here and I would say that you know this partner is coming on the show. There's these years of experience featured here, all that. But when I sort of looked out at your profile, I saw something very unique. You know, people said, if you're good at something, don't do it for free. And for lawyers, it is <laughs> really, really yeah. out there in the domain, in the industry. But Kanika, you have given so much, so many genuine tips. Like, let's first start with that. Abhi ek ghande pehle bhi, and I, uh, I keep saying it for my viewers also that I keep switching from Hindi uh, to English. Ek ghande pehle bhi, aap, iske event ke pehle bhi, aap kuch post kar ke aayo. Ki agar ek client ye bol raha hai, XYZ, to tumhe kya aur cheeze karni chahiye. Don't you, like, firstly, what is the agenda? What is the idea behind, you know, constantly publishing these things? Just, you, you want to reach out to a wider audience? Do you feel engagement? Hai? Fir, the whole, whole point is that, you know, I just want to help people out and that is why I signed up for this thing. There are actually two reasons. One okay. you already mentioned, but that's not the foremost reason. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, when I started my own practice, I was dealing with a lot of clients and I realized that people, you know, lack knowledge about intellectual property. Right. They have a per se idea about trademarks, yeah. but they don't know how it will actually help them in their business. Okay. So I thought uh, it is important for them to realize uh, the importance of it and to bridge the gap between, you know, knowledge and they want something, then they should actually know why they want it. Not... Right should just not get a trademark done because uh, somebody else in their circle is getting. They should realize the importance of it. Right, so right, I think right. it was important for me to come across on a platform and share knowledge about all of this. Absolutely. And I, you know, if somebody else was there and uh, it would be a little hard to believe, but uh, with the authenticity that you speak and like I'm saying, if you want to uh, see her LinkedIn profile, please do. It's fabulous. But uh, Kanika, let's, uh, since you said that, you know, this initiative uh, sort of, sort of yours uh, that you, uh, uh, you know, you talk about these things and up share karte ho jo bhi knowledge that you have. Let's also talk about ironic legal. This is something I specifically did not mention in your bio, uh, Jan Buchke, because we wanted to have some special spotlight on this. Why uh, did you, uh, you know, apne, uh, corporate, like you, like you uh, put it out that uh, we also said that you are associate with the first But then why this idea, idea of you know, being a co-founder at Ironic Legal and uh, starting your own thing all of a sudden? That's a long uh, journey basically. So uh, do you mind if I take a little longer time on this? 
no no absolutely take all the time that you want <laughs> so basically uh, after my post graduation back in 2019 i was preparing for judicial services okay and litigate uh, litigating as well uh, at the same time okay okay so i couldn't uh, clear the examination Achoo, and achoo. Uh, after that i felt really lost like because i really i was practicing in civil and criminals before that okay. and uh, i was sure that i don't want to continue practicing either civil or criminal for that matter okay. so i felt a little lost and uh, to you know uh, fill up the gap i started going to high court every day achoo, so i achoo. i used to go to different uh, courts every day trying to figure out what kind of uh proceedings are you know uh making me uh me having an impact on me right right and uh, that's when i went to i think uh, justice Pr- pratibha singh's court and okay okay i really connected to the ip law it Aray. was very interesting for me and uh, then i met uh, my colleague from college from Aray. graduation Aray. and she was with a senior and okay. i met her senior and then uh, we had a conversation in the high court canteen where okay. he sort of took my interview because i told him that i am interested yeah. in doing ip doing ip okay yeah and he sort of took my interview there and then and <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, i joined his law firm like it was a boutique okay. law firm. Okay. okay i was practiced with him for a while hmm and shuru se i always had this feeling that i want to start something of my own like everybody Achha, else okay 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 right right it. absolutely kyun nahi ha yeah yeah so this is how it essentially materialized but aap wahan par kaam kar rahe the and then you thought ki i should start something of my own also and then yeah. you ironic legal specifically firstly ye naam thoda uh, you know it's ironic in the sense that it's ironic <laughs> <laughs> any special thought behind the name why you chose Uh, so actually being a trademark lawyer i was in a flux of choosing a name for myself it was very tough kyunki yeah. jo bhi naam samajh aata tha it was already taken by somebody else right <laughs> and then i came across i actually made a list for a very long time of names that i yeah. liked yeah. and uh, then this is the greek terminology this means okay. promoting peace right so okay uh, okay yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. that's how i really like the name and i no absolutely and uh, congratulations everybody like you said uh, somewhere down the line most of the people i mean it differs for, from person to person but ha kyu nahi apna kyu nahi start karna chahte bilkul start karna chahte and i wish this becomes all the success uh, that you wanted to uh, sort of become but uh, kanika let's also talk about nlu jodhpur you know it's a very interesting thing that goes around with nlu or non nlu uh, schools when you said uh, ki maine you know जब मैंने ट्वेंटी में राइट ट्वेंटी टू नोदर यू आर फर्स्ट जेन इन दिस प्रोफेशन ओके uh i uh, sort of wanted to understand how's life at nlu let's talk we've never even uh, you know a lot of people have come from different backgrounds we never into gone into the understanding of how things are working out at nlu how did you feel uh, nlu was worth it yeah of course it is so basically i've been i've graduated from ip and post graduated from nlu okay, so okay. i had taste of both and i know the difference yeah. between the two right uh so um, NLU matlab any national university for that mm-hmm. matter not specifically Jodhpur yeah. uh, they have a very different way of teaching and uh, different way of uh, examination as well okay so uh, i remember back in college one question used to be of two pages Achha. and you were supposed to write just like a half a page answer so you used to mostly uh, spend time understanding the questions because they were always practical like right. they were always in a practical format right. whereas in uh, ip they were always theoretical questions okay so i think that's a big difference between both the universities but right. i think uh, even if you are not from an nlu background yeah you can uh, study case laws 
and yeah. apply your own mind and try yeah. to understand whether your understanding matches with what the judge you know okay. has put down in the judgment okay. i think that's also a good approach for people to uh, you know have a practical approach towards whatever case studies or whatever laws they are reading about right 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 or if you're not from nlu just join jindal if you have money <laughs> uh, no no jindal is uh, also a great university yeah, for that yeah. Yeah, yeah no but yeah i i agree to the part that there, there is uh, you know definitely a difference hai. Uh, with respect to basic जो teaching भी होती है law colleges में and in लियोस में but कनिका what I was rather uh, you know uh, in, uh, inquisitive about या मुझे जो चीज आपसे समझनी थी कि लोग करते हैं पीपल वॉन्ट टू सेट फॉर प्लेसमेंट वील टॉक अबाउट हाउ द प्लेसमेंट सेल्स आर इवन फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट इन uh graduates but uh, people said for placements i have also seen that you i think you even interned with denton and all that right denton link legal services yeah so you've interned also at good places i see a lot of other internships also that you have done why not uh, firstly did you uh, try an attempt uh, to do a tier 1 tier 2 sort of a law firm uh, kind of a job or were you not yeah no, i didn't actually i tried uh, interning like i interned at denton legal but i realized uh, a corporate lifestyle is not a not, not, your not thing. my cup of tea. yeah okay. not my cup of tea so uh, i didn't fancy it absolutely anytime. not at all yeah. but uh, uh, kanika so like let's sort of get into the depth of this also a little bit because this will probably help out the students for a lot of people who want to set up their own practice it's it's never that easy uh, firstly so kudos to you for that like i said before but uh, why exactly you know this opting out choice like do you feel like is there an issue with the kind of uh, work environment uh, that you feel or like ki is type ka kaam hai ya machine jaisi feeling aa rahi hai like what is it what is the reason that kaam, i think kis type ka kaam because initially uh, they just expect you to uh, just do research yeah, you yeah. don't have code exposure you don't have yeah. exposure to clients you yeah. don't you don't have exposure to actual what you actually need to grow in this field yeah, yeah. so i think that lacks in a lot of firms Arms i think boutique, boutique firms are better if you want to practice in a boutique firm because then you are exposed to hearings you are exposed to proceedings you are exposed to drafting everything you are exposed to but okay. in tier 1 firms i have i haven't experienced it for myself okay okay yeah. so so मतलब ऐसा हो जाता है also I think uh, with like uh, no naming no specific firm and किसी I don't have it and I neither does Kanika have anything against any tier one firm for that matter जिनको वैसी life पता पसंद है in fact people sit for day zero and all that it is completely your choice है uh, people want to go for that please go for that there's nothing wrong some with people that are all. really clear that they really want a corporate job yeah yeah so it's perfectly normal for everybody to feel the certain way right right absolutely no but uh, ye jo cheez hai matlab uh, this thing of the amount of work also you get matlab this also reflects in your profile because you can't name uh, even though you are saying intellectual property law a lot of times you can't just stick that with advocate kanika kanika is doing a lot of other things the whole point is that agar aapki koi profile dekhe to it's more like an all rounder rather than just uh, you know sit, sticking to one domain obviously people have their favorites it works out Uh, not only for career practices but for everything in life but uh, kanika so like i understand that this sort of difference of uh, you know uh, not going for law firm say aisa kuch but apna kaam shuru karna especially being a first generation lawyer has it been easy has it been insanely difficult where would you place it on that uh, scale meter of both mix of both so it's okay. not been very very easy Okay. but since i had made up my mind and i was sure that i want to start something of my own i was before actually starting i was developing skills for my own self so i okay. took a few courses learn learning contract drafting learning international okay. contract drafting for that matter as well okay and uh, before starting i knew that i can uh, get a few uh, friends and family who yeah. need the services right right i spoke to them they were in need somebody was in need of trade getting a trademark registered right and somebody wanted a contract so right. i think for me uh you know it became a loop like uh, yeah. i got work initially from my friends and family yeah. then they uh, you know were uh, satisfied with whatever i had shared yeah. with them 
Yeah. Then they forwarded uh, my contact details and my services to their set of friends and family. And then okay. they started also approaching me. Okay. So okay. that's how it worked for me. No, very smart with your clientele base, by the way. <laughs> that's the best way to network your uh, way out of the situation. No, but that's really fantastic. Actually, I can relate to the extent that, you know, my dad gives me a lot of his own things ki are you just draft this also he thinks that just because i you know i'm doing law or whatever if you're pursuing law you should know any kind of drafting so he just sends that over to me and he also gives me deadline which is even stricter than a tier one law firm he's like i need it in the next 10 minutes <laughs> just <laughs> so that is something no but that is very smart but uh kanika uh, okay to be fair like there is there is a huge gap uh in terms of people who are uh you know we've spoken about this uh, multiple times on the show and in fact we've given if uh, given it enough spotlight aur humne har side uh, suni hai story ki koi agar second gen third gen fourth whatever gen lawyer is coming in he has a great deal of backing and it's true for anyone like even just say for example aap ho uh, if any relative of yours for that matter forget about you know children and all that even a uh, sort of comes up to you for advice you have something you have learned something through this entire process wo ek bahut bada help rehta hai so do you feel that this sort of for you also did it create a sort of a you know gap ki maybe you know this this is also a sort of a factor uh, that maybe being first gen like i am also first gen person i i mean i am not i do not have family uh, lawyers or lawyers in the background who you know or done law for decades but does this personally affect you and play a role in your life or of course i mean uh, all through my college life we were taught by seniors that you will at least need to have 10 years practice before you start something of your own okay so ye to ideology shuru se rahi hai for that matter because okay. uh, everybody tried to put this in my head yeah but i think ultimately it's just comes down to what you want right. if you are uh, willing enough to you know jaise bhi karna hai but karna hai to wo wali cheez jab aa jati hai to i think Uh, nothing can stop you okay so defiance is like your go to motive <laughs> <laughs> no but okay like, i yeah yeah why no, no, practice please, please. also they've been like bo- like i faced both times like there was a yeah. lot of work for two weeks and there was yeah. nothing for me to do for two weeks but okay. that's what i chose for myself right absolutely absolutely yeah so i think gradually ek time aata hai when you get like uh, good work but till you achieve that i think thoda struggle hota hai but it's absolutely fine okay. because your growth is also a lot when you start something of your own yes no no that's absolutely there no in fact uh, when you say this you know even in just is the last episode that we hosted we had a managing partner of shivdas and shivdas he came in and spoke he obviously he had he had the uh, first gen sort of a backing he accepted it gracefully but he also talked about the challenges that उनके खुद के उस पर आते हैं बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली व्हेन योर डैड इज वेरी स्टैब्लिश इन द फॉर्म इट्स लाइक सचिन तेंदुलकर के बेटे पे बहुत प्रेशर है कि यू नो दैट दैट्स दैट्स समथिंग दैट्स आल्सो देयर बट टू बी फेयर लाइक ऑन बोथ द साइड्स ये जो बात आप बोल रहे हो दिस लाइफ दैट आई चूज फॉर माय सेल्फ यू नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ वो जो दो हफ्ते हैं जहां पर काम आते हैं वहां तो सब बढ़िया है दैट इज वेरी गुड बट व्हाट व्हाट हैपेंस एंड हाउ डू यू डील विद दैट माइंडसेट कई सारी मन में इनसिक्योरिटीज भी आती हैं दिस आई एम आस्किंग ऑन अ वेरी पर्सनल नोट नॉट दैट आई विल स्टार्ट अ लॉ फॉर्म राइट आफ्टर दिस आई वुड बट ऐसे भी मतलब इन जनरल आल्सो हैव यू एवर हैड यू नो काफी नेगेटिव थॉट्स अबाउट इट कि यार ये इज दिस इज दिस द राइट स्टेप हैव आई यू नो ऐसा कुछ गलत तो नहीं किया मैंने स्पेशली इन दैट फेज जहां पर चीजें नहीं चल रही होती है बिकॉज़ इट्स अ मिक्स ऑफ बोथ द थिंग्स आई विल टेल यू वेरी ऑनेस्टली I never had negative thoughts in my own head, but there have been uh, people who have been trying to tell me, "What are you doing? Why don't you, you know, get another job, start, uh, you know, get back into litigation or start something with some senior?" But uh, during those two weeks, I always, uh, you know, was of the mindset that, that I should upskill myself instead of giving in, or uh, you know. trying to do something else but i always try to upskill myself by learning okay. something or just reading all day reading case laws yeah. in yeah. something or the other for that matter 
राइट 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 नहीं एंड आई थिंक दैट मेक्स यू डे बाय डे बेटर आल्सो दिस बेसिक कांसेप्ट इवन दो जितनी भी थ्योरेटिकल लगी है द होल आईडिया इन जनरल इन लाइफ फॉर एनीवन हु हैज बीन एवर सक्सेसफुल इन व्हाटएवर माइंड फ्रेम वन वांट्स टू पुट सक्सेस इन इज दैट दे ट्राई टू बी अ बेटर वर्जन ऑफ देमसेल्व्स जितनी भी लेम और क्लीशे ये बात है ये बात सही तो है दैट इज एब्सोल्युटली देयर बट ओके सो दिस अपस्किलिंग थिंग इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड इसके बारे में भी थोड़ा बात करते हैं अभी समवन हु लाइक समवन लेट्स से हुज फर्स्ट जेन यू नो दे स्टेप अप लॉ स्कूल इन इटसेल्फ इज वेरी ओवरवेलमिंग एंड फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इट इज अ लॉट डिफरेंट कल्चरली आल्सो फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आप जिंदल जैसी जगह पर हो एक नॉर्मल दुनिया है और एक जिंदल है लाइक आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू और इवन इट इज ट्रू फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ अदर कॉलेजेस आल्सो बट लाइक द काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट दैट इज देयर इज वेरी डिफरेंट uh compared to what is happening outside in the normal world normal world you will have to face a lot of difficulties and once you get in there it's you know some people call it the maya nagari in the sense that uh, you know there are a lot of other things that are there at the exposure and obviously the kind of opportunities are also amazing for all the whether it's the nlus and whether it's jindal symbiosis all the good colleges out there but the whole point of this is when you say upskilling how do you identify ki mujhe x person ke paas ja ke ye skill seekhni hai let's say if i want to take a course today okay and there are ten, there are 100 people who are offering me intellectual property rights main to chalo kanika ko search karke show pe bula liya to mujhe intellectual property rights jana hoga to main aapko phone kar dunga but for anyone who is trying to understand essentially ki yaar how do i figure this out how do you apne se aap figure out ki these are the skills i want to learn maybe this is the person i should go to you know what i did so uh, kuch na kuch linkedin pe profiles hote hai that you you know feel that are really fancy and you would want to reach uh, yeah, yeah reach out to or maybe yeah. you know follow a particular pattern that they followed in their right. Uh, right. educational uh, standards and maybe take a diploma or a certificate okay. that they pursued okay. Okay. because okay. you think ki ye agar unka mai uh, pattern follow karungi to i might be able to achieve what they've achieved in they've life. achieved yeah yeah so uh i used to see a lot of uh, linkedin profiles and browse through them and see ki un logon ne acha ye harvard se course kare hai ya ye yahan se course kare hai so maybe uh, that's what helped them grow uh, yeah. and reach a certain level yeah. in their own practice right so that's the approach that i followed and so uh, aisa nahi hota ki agar tumne dekh liya ki ye course kar raha hai to tum wo course kar lo Yeah. You always uh, open the, that particular website. You see the syllabus. You see the right. uh, structure that they follow, and right. see that that's what you really want to do. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's how I. Uh, okay. Okay, Kanika. But like, uh, Jaisi ki, for example, apne to chalo. So you essentially identified it through other people, and then you see whether it matches with your own inter. Uh, sort of interests or not, but you figure out करना जैसे lot of people take a lot of time and it's absolutely okay. Chet, whether in the they are in the third year, fourth year, even after they've graduated, they do not know. It, especially in a space wherein there is so much of upcoming things, you know, data privacy अभी बहुत ज़्यादा artificial intelligence and its impact on the law. These things are currently uh, uh, you know sort of in the trend. But how do you uh, sort of identify कि you know this should be my area of interest? Like were you just reading about it? कब आपको लगा कि भाई यही करना चाहिए वंस यू गॉट इनटू दैट फॉर्म और वाज इट पहले से नो इट वाज एक्चुअली व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड गोइंग टू द कोर्ट एंड अटेंडिंग प्रोसीडिंग्स लाइक ओके एंड आल्सो बाय केस लॉज रीडिंग आई थिंक बोथ दीस थिंग हेल्प्ड मी टू फिगर आउट व्हाट आई वांटेड टू डू राइट बिकॉज़ आई आल्सो फेल्ट लॉस्ट इनिशियली व्हेन आई डिडंट एंटर इनटू दिस फील्ड राइट तो आई थिंक होता तो सबके साथ ही है कुछ भी ना पसंद है then the profession is not made for you uh, but, while you're yeah. in college you have a lot of time in your hand you can right. try a lot of internships you can go for a lot of mood competitions right and usme bhi idea lag jata hai what kind of a uh, you know law you resonate yeah. with yeah okay 
No, that's true. And even like any sort of extracurricular activity for that matter, moots are very uh, important in that sense. Maybe ADR competitions. Aisa nahi hai ki jisne XYZ nahi kiya. There's no fixed bracket for this. Even I think, uh, Kanika, even when, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about your publications also, that is an excellent opportunity because when you try to publish something, uh, you know, aap bahut depth mein jate ho because you know you are making your work out to the public. And in that process, you learn a lot about a particular topic. Maybe do you feel that sort of uh, it sort of interest course taraf divert kar deta hai ki, you know, ye topic mein bahut detail mein kara, maybe I should. But I think for to write on a topic uh, mm-hmm. at such a depth, mm-hmm. you uh, might actually end up liking it because you will be reading a lot about it, like you said. Right. right. And you will know whether you like it or not eventually. <laughs> but at least you'll have fun publication in hand for that matter. <laughs> No, ha, bilkul. Matlab, uh, that is also there is no to... loss, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. If true, true, yeah. true, true, true. Yeah. And that is why you've published so much. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, okay, uh, Kanika, all all these things are uh ye sari jage, uh cheese apni jage par hai. Uh but ek uh hi, uh ajeeb sa factor hai, ek ajeeb, ek bahut ajeeb sa dar hai. Like you said, there are a lot of people who might have told you XYZ things, right? And this happens to the best of the people. It happens to the rest of the people also and the best of the people also. The idea is that a lot of times uh, when someone is saying a certain thing to you, Kaun bol hai, wo to matter karta hi hai. but with the constant, just say you keep, if you keep knocking a door, you know, dheere dheere with time that door may something will break down. So do you think that sort of hammering is something that gets to you at times? Like if you're obviously comfortable answering this no, question. No, I don't think so because I am of this view that if someone is saying something, they are coming from their own experience. You right. might not, you know, face whatever they've faced in their life right. and you might have a different journey than they had. Right. And like I, I believe uh, uh, for the lawyers or uh, people who've been practicing uh, since, uh, you know, 1990, 2000, they had a different exposure in life. Yeah. Cool. And we have a different exposure in life. So I think वैसे भी जो सब बोलते थे कि दस साल लगेंगे, now I think किसी को भी नहीं लगते दस साल to you okay. know establish their own practice. Okay. I've okay. seen a lot of people uh, starting uh, their own practice after four five years. Right. So I think that's the new normal, maybe. Oh, yeah, no, that's no, that's that's true. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the एक ये भी concept है ना कि अगर as long as आपके एक client के साथ conflict नहीं कर रहा है, I can even though I have my own firm, I can also work on an advisory basis with a lot of other agencies and firms. Like for example, Avdi had come in. Uh, she was working uh in I in the IPR media and entertainment section also. But she was the managing partner, obviously, of her own firm at the same time. And then as long as it didn't conflict, she was advising people based on that also. That option is also there. But one uh, very practical question is practical question ye hai ki monetary uh, par aa jate Obviously, we will not talk about income and all of that. But we, what we will talk about is whether it is feasible for a lot of people. Because I, I understand that a lot of people who even watch the show uh, do not come from, from a very privileged background. Not everybody has the neither the mental capacity. Jitne strong worded, okay, jitne strong headed hokar aap ye cheese bol pa rahe ho. I'm sure a lot of people will also break in the process with all the doubts and insecurities that are around them. So, firstly, like that is also a great thing and that's really admirable about you. But uh, ye cheese, it is out there in the open that a lot of people do not have the money, same kind of money, neither the same kind of exposure. Do you recommend? Uh, Personally, on in your thing, ki bhai, it's okay if you want to start your firm or no, no, just get into somewhere and then maybe. I think, uh, thoda practice karo with, okay. with the senior and uh, see where you uh, lack. Ki aapko kuch law nahi aata, ya kuch law seekhna hai, ya fir kuch skill seekhna hai. Wo seekho while you are practicing with the senior so that you have a steady flow of income. And uh, while you are at it, you can probably talk to him that you want to, you know, start something of your own. Right. And if there is a client, hai, 
तो यू माइट बी एबल टू यू नो गेट हिम ऑन बोर्ड इंडिविजुअली तो इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट लीविंग एवरीथिंग बिहाइंड एंड स्टार्टिंग एकदम से कि नहीं अब तो मैं अपना ही करूंगा Mm-hmm. i think this can be uh, one approach you can also uh, get on to platform freelancing platforms like upwork and fiber okay and uh, you know make your own uh, portfolios okay. and try to pitch to clients through those platforms and you might uh, get opportunities there as well okay is pe kuch linkedin optimization ya aisa kuch bhi work karta hai like do clients reach out via that aisa kabhi hua hai aapke paas ki client aaya ho ha actually uh, i just started posting on linkedin a month back okay it's not been very long for me but already i've uh, provided services to two people okay okay i i don't think it's that uh, bad you know <laughs> no no absolutely you, you might uh-huh. end up getting work through linkedin as well um, okay and ye upwork wagaira do these things work out because there is not a lot of assurances in the sense that बना तो लेते हैं लोग प्रोफाइल बट पीपल स्टिल हैव द थिंग दैट यू नो लाइक नॉट यू विल हैव टू बी एट इट लाइक यू विल हैव टू कीप ऑन अप्लाइंग फॉर अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर यू टू एक्चुअली एंड अप यू नो गेटिंग कनेक्टेड विद समबडी हां और मतलब कंसिस्टेंटली अगर आप करते रहोगे तो सुनर लेटर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हैविंग मोर एक्सपोजर एंड मोर अप्रोच पीपल थ्रू लिंक्डइन आल्सो इट्स आई डोंट थिंक अब देयर इज समथिंग की इसको नहीं मैसेज कर सकते या यू विल हैव टू हैव डन समथिंग टू रीच आउट टू समबडी आई डोंट थिंक दैट कांसेप्ट लाइज एनीमोर सो एंड एवरीबॉडी स्वीट एनफ टू रिप्लाई आई थिंक ओके या नो दैट्स ट्रू आई फिगर्ड आउट दैट व्हाइल सॉर्ट ऑफ इनवाइटिंग माय गेस्ट्स आल्सो नो दैट इज देयर बट एक काफी जनरल बात एंड दिस इज समथिंग वी टॉक डाउन विद अदर गेस्ट्स आल्सो I know you uh, started. You started posting one month ago, and I I am absolutely uh, not in a lot of support uh, of social media. That is just my own own thing. I who nee kisi social media platform pe. But LinkedIn is obviously because uh, there there is a professional side to it now, which is also sort of I don't know why people just post random selfies and they're talking about something which is irrelevant to the selfie that they post and whatever. There's a lot of things that are going on as clickbait engagements and all of that. Do you also feel that, uh, कहीं ना कहीं कभी because since you've started posting, uh, is it is it worth the effort that you're putting in? Firstly, uh, that would be the first question. Secondly, बहुत clear question है. क्या क्या कभी कभी LinkedIn fake लगता है आपको? किसी का profile खोल के उसने मतलब if you look at profiles, everybody seems like a god, but deep down when you uh, you know interact and all, all of that not everybody is like actually at the yeah yeah of course i think ab to bahut log kisi aur se bhi likhwane lag gaye and they are proper agencies who are doing this work so uh, but i think proper content only comes out when you are writing it yourself otherwise wo intent kabhi deliver hota hi nahi hai that's how we are able to you know catch ki isne likha hai ya nahi likha That's how we we are able to judge ki, uh, <laughs> is this an authentic content or not. So, ये तो important है कि that you whatever because the purpose of you know writing on social media is you are sharing what your intent is. अगर कोई और ही लिख रहा है तो point क्या है? But I also understand कि जो लोग are engaging other people to write for them, they come from a point of view that it is somewhat their uh, CV nowadays, like. Yeah. If somebody uh, gets to know about somebody, they always end up looking at their social media or their website. Right. To. So, उसके लिए दे. Yeah. 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 No, but uh, writing वाली part aside, even with respect to, अच्छा also does the number game uh, play out? Because I'm not a big fan of uh, any. Uh, I have platform. no idea. I I seriously haven't understood it myself yet. Because okay. on some post I get like twenty thousand impressions. On some post I get thousand impressions. Yeah. So I really don't understand. I don't want to understand also for that also, matter because that's yeah. not my intent of posting on LinkedIn. Right. I just want to bridge the gap, gap of uh, and probably impart education to people. You know, right. uh, understand what really lies. No, and I think the thing you were saying about upskilling. If I ever wanted to do a course, I think I would do it on cracking LinkedIn or uh, some uh, <laughs> social media because, by I don't. I is the same thing. I obviously have a uh, you know a sort of a good team set up for my other 
uh, things. But the whole point is that that kind of content is educational and it should reach out to more people. So there is a reason to sort of market it. And obviously all that cost is all everything that comes on to you. But I do not understand uh, this uh, sort of uh, attraction also of people, some people getting 1000 likes and some people getting 2 likes and all that. But I think, I think it's need of the hour, no? Social media, yeah. because people just know you through social media now. Otherwise, okay. Okay. Nahi pata ki ho tum. Fair enough. I mean, uh, we, I, I, chalo. I'm <laughs> life. Of course. No, no, that's true. Ek, uh, it's a very uh, all all uh, nonsense and uh, jokes apart, even though I, I do not like it because of XYZ reasons. And I'm not very an active and avid user also. But if you have a time, you have to establish your presence, you have to brand establish your brand. If you yeah. use it rightly, social media is a very good tool. There is no denying that. A lot of people have made a lot of money, a lot of fame, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of power through this using social media properly. So that is something that's absolutely out there. But the uh, whole point is that uh, there is some sort of a comparison that also comes to people's minds. This is a very practical thing about a social media platform. Like you are saying that you get a lot of impressions. And you don't want to figure it out also. But there are a lot of people who want to do crack LinkedIn in five day courses, two day courses, right? So you think that uh, ever that comparison even around you, does it like aisa kuch kabhi toxic ho jata ya kabhi dimag mein ekse ko aapko bhi aata hai ki yaar ye kya matlab this post I put in so much effort in because you literally create content from scratch. Ye jo aap authenticity wali baat kar rahe the na, wo GPT ki likhi wai chize samaj aati. It is if people who have used it, now they know what is GPT and what is not. Putting star emoji or you know, formal statement and you know all that G- GPT does. But even with the way you're writing a statement, I mean, the way you write AI is a way. Like a pattern that you formalize a statement in that way. Use it and there is nothing wrong with using AI or even using agencies. Just do it, you can do it. But when you put in that hard work, when you do it, it feels a bit disappointing. Yes, it feels a lot. Initially, it felt a lot because... I started posting the first two, three posts, I got enough uh, impressions. And after that, I had a decline. I was like, but this post was insightful according to my uh, intent. But uh, I don't know. I don't even think it's that. I don't think it's that uh, it's just that some, maybe some algorithm that it didn't reach to x number of people and it didn't have x number of likes or whatever i think we need to do a proper algorithm course for linkedin <laughs> because whenever i also post i don't care i don't see also after that <laughs> but yeah uh, no generally i just post when my team asks me to buy both din ho gaye and you have to share something and all of that that is there uh i think a couple of months back i didn't even use linkedin i didn't have a profile i was happy with how things were working Matlab, private for me as well actually i also uh, had deactivated my instagram account for a very very long time okay and uh, i was not active on linkedin as well okay. but it's uh, since a few years like 2 3 years i think i uh, i'm back on the social media <laughs> okay okay <laughs> nahi, nahi, and theek hai, this change of art is at least uh, really uh, proving beneficial to people who want to understand intellectual property rights by kabhi bhi khol ke dekh lo uh, inka linkedin kafi acche acche insights hai. you'll get to know a lot about even uh, with respect to the startups and all that uh, aapne, uh, you know i think uh, you share how uh, whether, whether it's the trademark or kya uh, kya other checks and measures leni chahiye ek startup ko bhi jo bhi enroll kar raha hai uh, in sab cheezon ke bare mein thoda sa uh, client base ke bare mein baat karte hain you don't have to just name the client and whatever but what is it that you generally deal in and what is your advice uh, to people who are dealing in a uh, similar sort of uh, practice? I mean, wo client areas. Uh, client areas, uh, mostly uh, MSMEs. Okay, okay. And uh, I think uh, like MSME startups, all yeah. of them require intellectual property. Right. Uh, and they require contracts as well. So that's what uh, my client base mostly looks like. Right. Because uh, they require both my services. Right. And IPR, mein kiski requirements major? Like trademark. trademarks mostly. 
ओकेटेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडेडे
तो इवेंचुअली या तो यू हायर मोर पीपल और गेट मोर पार्टनर्स एंड देन यू नो मेक इट एन एग्जॉस्टिव लॉ फॉर्म और यू जस्ट मेक एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज द नीश आई वॉन्ट टू बी इन एंड बस ये ही सर्विस आई प्रोवाइड तो मतलब आई एम ऑल्सो कॉन्टम्पलेटिंग बिटवीन दीज टू थॉट्स टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट एट द मोमेंट Yeah. But I I think think uh, right. I'll go with the for that right. matter. Okay. No, and thank you so much uh, even for being brutally honest. जितने रियलिटी के साथ आपने आकर इस शो पर बात किया है I don't think a lot of people in the past. Uh, nothing against any of my guests. I am very happy uh, with everyone I have hosted. But not a lot of people. Uh, you know, लोग बात करते हैं तो एक फॉर्मल इंटेंट या अप्रोच भी चला जाता है बट आई थिंक आई बीन लक्की विद दिस सीजन लॉर्ड ऑफ यू नो अमेजिंग हार्ट वार्मिंग गेस्ट हैव कम एंड स्पोकन देयर हार्ट आउट सो यू आर एब्सोल्युटली डेफिनेटली वन ऑफ देम बट कनिका एक लास्ट क्वेश्चन एंड देन वील टेक योर फाइनल मैसेज फॉर एनी एस्पिरेंट अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू कांट से कंटीन्यूअस लर्निंग बिकॉज़ दैट इज समथिंग दैट वी वांट टू स्टार्ट बट ये पूरे प्रोसेस में एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज होगी क्लाइंट रिटेनरशिप इन द सेंस दैट यू रिटेन योर क्लाइंट वंस दे कम ये कैसे ये रिलेशनशिप कैसे फॉस्टर करते हो किसी भी क्लाइंट के साथ जस्ट प्रोवाइड हाई क्वालिटी वर्क दे ऑटोमेटिकली कम बैक दे ऑटोमेटिकली रेकमेंड यू टू अदर पीपल ओके एंड इस प्राइस लाइक सॉर्ट ऑफ द फैक्टर प्राइस पॉइंट की इतने पे इतना काम दे रहे हैं तो initially hota hai but i never uh, went into yeah. that because i didn't i wanted a particular niche of clients i wanted because i knew what i'm providing i want starting say i wanted a particular uh, oh. level so ha ye matter karta hai but uh, feel mein matter karta hai because you know there are a lot of people who come up to uh, you and say ki ye to you know if i get it down from somebody else they will charge yeah. me some amount of money and you charge yeah. amount yeah. of money but my approach to this has never been that okay i'll you know stoop down and uh, charge you x and okay we yeah. can go yeah, yeah yeah absolutely you don't you don't change you come across as a very uh, i mean thank you for firstly sharing all the uh, you know xyz jo bhi aapko issues uh, lage but you come across as someone who's very determined Uh, at least to me was very focused and i personally matlab uh, even though you know i don't know if the advice counts or not but i would personally never uh, say that ki ab isko chhod ke fir wapas xyz cheezon mein jao i'm very proud of wherever you have come uh, the very reason for inviting you as a guest here was you're doing something really unique not a lot of people have the guts uh, if that is how has plainly as we can put it out Uh, to do this, no, not a lot of people have the vision, and finally, not a lot of people have the heart uh, to even do this. You know, keep doing it in and out consistently uh, with all that keeps coming. It's not an easy ride. So, kudos to you and uh, congratulations, and I hope you keep acing your life just like this. Uh, final message for the aspirants: Don't say continued learning, uh, and <laughs> don't say case class. Take care, Dan. Uh, I think uh, if I don't have to mention these two points, then one thing is that you should start writing. Okay. Uh, because that also uh, helps you have a clear vision in your own head. Yeah. I think initially, अगर गलत भी लिख रहे हो या अच्छा नहीं भी लग रहा. Right. अपने आप ही धीरे-धीरे gradually you will come to a certain point where you will realize that. Uh, your first post or your first write up and mm. your fifth write up has a lot of gap and you've actually become better by you know continuously writing to mujhe lagta hai usse bahut khud ko bhi clarity milti hai logon ko bhi aapke bare mein pata lagta hai for that matter and uh, i think usse you learn a lot yeah and, and meet a lot of people meet a lot of people interact with a lot of people जितने लोगों से मिलोगे जितने लोगों से बात करोगे ऑलवेज हैव अ मेंटालिटी ऑफ लर्निंग फ्रॉम अदर पीपल इंस्टेड ऑफ यू नो गोइंग आउट एंड स्पीकिंग व्हाट यू वांट टू से ग्रैब अब्सॉर्ब ऑल द पॉजिटिव थिंग्स दैट यू यू नो कैन या बहुत ही ऐसे एंड में स्पिरिचुअल आंसर हो गया था फॉर अ मोमेंट आई लॉस्ट माय ट्रेल ऑफ थॉट आल्सो नो बट दैट्स ट्रू दैट्स सो सो मच ट्रू इन द सेंस दैट ऑब्वियसली मिलना इन द 
idea of networking also uh, the idea that network is your net worth uh, it's very very crucial very very important uh, thank you so much uh, kanika for uh, being a guest on today's episode uh, i it is it was amazing hosting you you are a very different person you come across as a very unique person and like i said i wish you all the best uh, in your life we'll just take your closing statements on the show because this is the part when you when you know you speak good things about me we edit it <laughs> put it in <laughs> put it in the first part of the segment i'm just kidding but obviously your closing thoughts on the show and uh, that is how we'll end the show today please to be very honest uh, this show uh, you know i could also see how far i've come and i could process my own journey kyunki तुम कभी खुद बैठ के नहीं सोच रहे होते कि तुमने क्या क्या करा है माय लाइफ इन अ सर्टेन वे एंड इट वाज वेरी वेरी नाइस स्पीकिंग टू यू क्योंकि यू ओनली यू नो पिन पॉइंटेड अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आस्क्ड मी टू स्पीक अबाउट देम व्हिच हेल्प मी अ लॉट एंड आई एम श्योर द व्यूअर्स विल आल्सो यू नो टेक समथिंग आउट ऑफ दिस कन्वर्सेशन एंड पीपल कैन रीच आउट टू यू और मी Okay. Uh, in case of any, uh, you know, question. Sort of questions yeah. or difficulties. No, absolutely. Yeah. Do it in a formal manner. Uh, do it uh, at a suitable time. It goes without saying. I am not obvious. Uh, up का contact number तो कभी share out नहीं होगा publicly. Yeah. But LinkedIn वगैरह. Uh, please. अगर आपको लगे. Uh, absolutely. Search for uh, advocate करने का. You will get it. and uh, hopefully you guys also benefit from the session thank you so much uh, the season is going to end in uh, july so keep watching i have a couple of more episodes scheduled uh, but this is it uh, from us and my wonderful guest uh, for today advocate kanika uh, thank you so much kanika for joining us on the show thank you so much nishank uh,